the movie is set in 1979 where we see a young pregnant woman named Beth Church embarking on a journey with her fiancé, Cameron, to visit her parents. They decide to rest at a roadside motel in the cozy town of Montgomery due to the exhausting journey. Hank, the motel owner, can't help but notice Beth's beauty, leading to a tense exchange of looks with Cameron. Beth then decides to take a nap where she experiences a reoccurring nightmare of a crying baby surrounded by blood, coupled with the mysterious appearance of Roman numerals. Upon waking, she is comforted by Cameron as she voices her anxieties about a possible recurrence of a previous miscarriage. Later that night, Cameron, unable to sleep, decides to step out in search of food, leaving a loving note for Beth. However, upon his return, he finds Beth is mysteriously gone. Panicked, he reports her disappearance to the local police. Officer Marvin arrives at the motel to investigate. Cameron's frustration boils over as he points fingers at Hank, accusing him due to his earlier overt attention towards Beth. Unable to control his emotions, Cameron lashes out physically at Hank, leading to Officer Marvin intervening and knocking Cameron unconscious, eventually arresting him. Simultaneously, Beth awakens in a chilling scenario. She finds herself in an abandoned warehouse in a bathtub filled with ice. She discovers a C-section scar on her abdomen, leading to the horrifying realization that her baby has been removed. Adding to her terror, she spots a white smock with a Roman numeral DCVIII on it, reminiscent of her nightmarish vision. In a state of confusion and despair, Beth wanders around the ominous building, each room containing a similar bathtub setup. As she steps outside, she's met with a desolate sight, the warehouse being surrounded by a secure fence. Overwhelmed, Beth collapses and is discovered by a group of other women, each sharing the same horrific experience of four C-sections. In a thrilling turn of events, meanwhile, Cameron manages to overpower Officer Marvin while on the road, taking his gun and setting himself free from the handcuffs. He leaves the officer tied to a tree and commandeers the police vehicle. Fueled by rage, Cameron returns to the motel and confronts Hank, violently extracting information about Beth's whereabouts. Hank reveals he had received a mysterious call inquiring about a pregnant woman staying at the motel. He reluctantly shares the supposed location where Beth was taken. Unfortunately, in his frantic rush to rescue Beth, Cameron ends up in a car crash tragically, leading to his demise. Back at the warehouse, Beth is assisted by another woman who helps dress her wound. They are all lost, unsure about why they are in this horrifying situation. They are startled by a scream, leading them back into the building. On investigation, they discover a bleeding woman with a freshly stitched yet open wound on her abdomen. Before succumbing to her injuries, she makes a cryptic comment about her baby being blue, urging them to take care of him. Following the burial of the deceased woman, the group grows determined to find their missing babies. They return to the building and decide to split up. A woman named Ivy pairs with a seemingly delicate, shy woman armed with a lantern for illumination. During their search, Ivy discovers a camera, captures an image of her companion, and hands the shy woman the camera. Meanwhile, Ivy stumbles upon a room filled with candies and vanishes inside. While exploring the warehouse, another woman named Veronica confides in Beth about Ivy's traumatic past, as she has been a victim of assault. She speculates that Ivy might actually feel relieved that her baby is gone. As they continue their exploration, they discover an eerie sight, photographs of various pregnant women, hinting that they are not the first victims of this sinister operation. Meanwhile, the shy woman is left to navigate the dimly lit corridors alone after losing track of Ivy. She stumbles into a room infested with insects, causing her to drop and break the lantern. As she attempts to fix it, a mysterious woman appears behind her. Shortly after, her scream reverberates through the warehouse. They find her lifeless body with her abdomen brutally opened. The group mourns her death, with Beth expressing her anger at Ivy for failing to look after her. Upon examining the deceased woman, Veronica finds a distinctive green clip inside of her. This discovery triggers a debate among the women, with Veronica suggesting that perhaps they should try to escape instead. Ivy discovers that the shy woman managed to capture an image of her assailant with the camera before her demise. The photograph reveals another woman dressed similarly to them. 
the group deduces that the Roman numerals on their clothes serve as sequential identifiers, a detail that Beth recognizes from her nightmares. As they explore further, they stumble upon a room filled with formula bottles. And to their shock, they find their babies alive, but caged, each marked with a colored tag. The sight overwhelms them, but uncertainty looms as they are unable to distinguish which baby is theirs. Holding the green clip found in the shy woman's abdomen, Beth comes to a horrifying realization. The color-coded clips put inside their abdomens correspond to the tags on their babies. She recalls the cryptic comment by the first woman they encountered about her baby being blue. Beth discerns the horrific strategy. The women are forced to mutilate each other to determine the color of the clip inside of them thus identifying their babies without inflicting any harm upon themselves. Ivy, having shared an intimate moment with one of the infants, insists they need to liberate the babies as soon as possible. Veronica, assuming Ivy's earlier reluctance to motherhood due to her traumatic past, is taken aback by her change of heart. Ivy admits that seeing the babies has shifted her perspective. Remembering a veterinary laboratory with medical tools, Veronica proposes a plan. As a doctor, she can safely remove the clips from their abdomens, giving them a chance to identify and reclaim their children. However, unbeknownst to the woman, two individuals are secretly observing their movements through surveillance cameras from an undisclosed location. The identity of these individuals remains a mystery for now. The women find themselves outside once again, inadvertently disturbing a pair of vicious dogs locked in a battle. Despite their best attempts at stealth, the dogs become alert to their presence and give chase. In a frantic bid to evade the dogs, they diverge in different directions, effectively splitting the dogs' attention. In the ensuing chaos, Beth and Veronica manage to escape by diving into a deep excavation trench where they lose consciousness due to the impact. Ivy, on the other hand, finds refuge in a large metal bucket at a nearby farm. When Beth and Veronica regain consciousness, they assess their situation. Beth suggests climbing out of the trench, but Veronica, having already attempted this, informs her that she's injured her knee in the process. Despite the setback, Beth successfully extracts herself from the trench. She attempts to assist Veronica, but is unsuccessful due to Veronica's debilitating injury. Simultaneously, Ivy cautiously explores the cattle barn. The animals, disturbed by her presence, start to make loud noises, stoking Ivy's fear of being discovered. Desperate, she calls out for Beth and Veronica. Suddenly, she's ambushed from behind by the ruthless mother, who's the very same woman responsible for the tragic demise of the shy mother. With a vicious assault, she tightens her grip around her victim's throat, sealing her fate. Back in the surveillance room, the unknown individuals mark Ivy's photograph with a cross, indicating her termination. Beth, concerned for Veronica, sets out to find something to help her injured friend. She comes across a house and cautiously ventures inside where she notices a photograph of a woman. Suddenly, a man named Duncan appears, wheeling a trolley carrying Ivy's lifeless body. Beth conceals herself as Duncan enters the house. As he busies himself at the sink, Duncan mumbles to himself, repeatedly stating that ladies are not allowed in the house, as a certain Miss Shepherd would disapprove. Recognizing his possible mental impairment, Beth cautiously reveals herself and attempts to engage Duncan. Offering him some candy, she introduces herself and inquires about Miss Shepard. Duncan reveals that Miss Shepard is his mother and he's not allowed to address her as such. Spotting the keys on Duncan's belt, Beth queries whether they open the cages containing the babies. Unnerved, Duncan evades her question and hastily exits the house. Determined, Beth gives chase and manages to wrestle the keys away from him. Returning to Veronica, Beth devises a way to use metal cages to help her climb out of the trench. She supports Veronica, escorting her to a nearby car and tends to her injury. However, their moment of relief is interrupted as another vehicle approaches. Fearing discovery, they make a run for the veterinary laboratory. Inside the lab, Beth barricades the door with storage cabinets while Veronica begins to attempt self-surgery to remove the stitches on her abdomen. Suddenly, their refuge is compromised as a woman attempts to force her way in. With the lights suddenly turned off, Beth leaves Veronica in the dimly lit room to investigate. 
To her horror, she sees Veronica struggling against the brutal mother who is frantically trying to extract the colored clip from Veronica's abdomen. In a desperate fight for survival, Beth confronts the brutal mother and the two engage in a violent struggle. As the brutal mother attempts to do the same to Beth, she manages to kick her into a wall, where a tube pierces through her thorax, effectively ending her threat. After their violent confrontation, Beth rushes back to Veronica who's on the brink of death. With her dying breath, Veronica pleads with Beth to care for her child, a plea that sends Beth into a tearful state of despair. Suddenly, Beth realizes the brutal mother is no longer where she fell. Frantically, she searches and finds her lying in a bathroom, barely alive. Not wasting any time, Beth retrieves the colored tag embedded in the brutal mother's abdomen, adding to her collection of tags. However, the final tag remains clenched in the brutal mother's hand. In her dying moments, the brutal mother proposes a chilling bargain. She will surrender the last tag only if Beth promises to care for her child. The ruthless mother reveals a shocking confession. She'd been instructed by an unknown woman to commit the atrocious act of murdering five individuals and extracting their unique identification tags. The purpose behind these gruesome acts was to unveil the identity of her own baby without resorting to opening her own abdomen and retrieving her own clip. Revealing a photograph, she indicates Miss Shepard. The woman in the photo holding a tag during what appears to be a surgical procedure. With her last breath, she again implores Beth to care for her child. Without hesitation, Beth agrees, taking the tag and rushing back to the room where the babies were kept. Meanwhile, an unknown Russian couple watches the distressing scene via a surveillance monitor. They note with some satisfaction that Beth is the last mother standing. As Beth enters the room, she's horrified to find the cribs are empty. Her euphoria at having collected all of the tags evaporates. Replaced by a deep sense of loss and frustration, the room suddenly plunges into darkness and Beth is knocked unconscious. When she awakens, she finds herself chained to the floor, disoriented and helpless. A police officer and Hank, the motel owner, are in the vicinity while the Russian couple is in conversation with Miss Shepard. To Beth's horror, Miss Shepard hands over her baby to the Russian couple. Bound and helpless, all Beth can do is watch in despair as her child is taken away, her cries of protest echoing in the chilling room. Miss Shepard then points the Russian couple towards Beth, indicating to the husband that it's time to end Beth's life. However, before he can act, Miss Shepard reveals their illicit operation. She explains that prospective parents are given a child to adopt based on the performance of the mothers in this brutal survival test. The mother who outlasts the others is considered the strongest and thus her child is deemed the fittest for adoption. As the Russian man is about to end Beth's life, Miss Shepard's mentally ill son Duncan makes a surprise entrance brandishing a shotgun. As he aims it at the Russian man, Beth pleads with him for help. This creates a moment of tension as Miss Shepard commands Duncan to shoot Beth instead. Duncan, however, hesitates, remembering Beth's kindness in giving him candies. In the ensuing chaos, a scuffle ensues and Duncan shoots, killing the Russian couple while tragically losing his own life. In the chaos, Miss Shepard seizes the opportunity to escape with Beth's baby. Nevertheless, Beth manages to free herself from her chains, retrieving the shotgun and embarks on a frantic search throughout the house. She stumbles on a surveillance room filled with monitors and files pertaining to the mothers. She's then guided by the sound of her baby crying, which leads her to another room. Overwhelmed with relief, she picks up her baby only to be startled by Miss Shepard's sudden appearance. Confronted with the mastermind behind this horrifying ordeal, Beth arms herself with the gun as Miss Shepard makes her way towards them. In a surprising twist, Miss Shepard reveals details about Beth's own parents, suggesting that Beth herself was acquired through the same method. Refusing to believe her, Beth demands proof, prompting Miss Shepard to reveal a file containing her personal information. Shockingly, Beth realizes that the child she's been seeing in her recurrent dreams is herself, hinting at her own past in the clinic. 
Despite this revelation, Beth is not dissuaded. Driven by the memory of the mothers who died, she lunges at Miss Shepard, attacking and ending her life. With the woman who orchestrated the horror finally gone, Beth finds herself in an ambulance, holding her child. A police officer hands her Cameron's wallet, signaling her fiancé's unfortunate demise. The narrative fast-forwards to the future, where we see Beth and her child paying a visit to the grave of her biological mother. During this visit, Beth encounters an elderly man who also leaves the same gravesite. Noting the fresh flower on her mother's grave, she inquires about the man from the caretaker of the cemetery. The caretaker informs her that the elderly man's pregnant wife, who's also Beth's biological mother, disappeared years ago and the man never found his child. Now it becomes clear that Beth's biological mother was also a victim of abduction destined to be taken to the clinic. This revelation leads Beth to believe that this man could very likely be her biological father. The movie concludes on a hopeful note, with Beth accompanied by her baby, setting off on a journey to connect with the man she now believes to be her biological father. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.